Vegan, let's prove that we oppose brutality to the innocents. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. The Epoch of Maitreya Proclaims Woman The manifestation of Maitreya is linked with the confirmation of the mother of the world in the past, present and future. Please continue watching for the messages from the venerated Master Moria as recorded by his disciples Nicholas and Helena Rorick, vegetarians. Confident viewers, if you ever visit Komi Republic, you will be greeted with Privet всем нашим зрителям. That means greetings all our viewers in Russian. I am Alena. The compassionate people of Komi Republic praise your noble action in joining all vegan heroes to save the world. May your caring nature be ever uplifted in the immense love of the Providence. The esteemed mystical and philosophical writers Nicholas and Helena Rorick are two of the most influential spiritual thought leaders from Russia, recognized for founding the doctrine of Agni Yoga, also known as Living Ethics. Believed to be a synthesis of all yogas, spiritual disciplines, Agni Yoga focuses on the daily practice of love, beauty and noble action. Nicholas Rorick was also a highly esteemed artist whose illuminating paintings, charged with the energy of his mystical experiences, drew many pilgrims from around the world. His wife Helena Rorick was the incentive for his interest in Eastern spirituality and theosophy. She is depicted in his painting titled She Who Leads. Traveling extensively throughout Asia to deepen their spiritual studies, the Roriks eventually met their master in Darjeeling, India. The ascended venerated Master Morya, also known as El Morya, is a master of the Great White Brotherhood, an order of ascended masters and their incarnated disciples, one of whom was Helena Blavatsky. In fact, Master Moria inspired the founding of the Theosophical Society, and to the Rorics, he was the inspiration behind all of their noble ideals for the world. Moria revealed messages of higher wisdom to Nicholas and Helena Rorick, which they recorded on paper and later gathered into a series of texts. Today we will read a selection from Hierarchy, a book containing some of the remarkably uplifting teachings of Master Moria, put into texts by his disciples Helena and Nicholas Rorick. The excerpts serve as a pure spiritual inspiration for our modern and future generations, with an aim and emphasis on following the course of conscious evolution. Hierarchy 1931. All creation is contained in the call of the heart. The entire cosmic expanse is permeated with a call, and the heart of cosmos and the heart of an arhat are permeated with the call. The call and the answer comprise the combination of the cosmic fires. Union is verily the manifestation of our cycle. Many cycles are created by the call, and this expanding intensely, embrace different spheres. The affirmation of creation is manifested as union. I, ruler of Shambhala, say, the principle of life is the affirmation of the expanse of cosmic energy and the way of creative fire. The ruler of Shambhala reveals three doctrines to humanity. The teaching manifested by Maitreya summons the human spirit to our creative world. The teaching of Maitreya ordains the infinite in cosmos, in life and in the attainments of the spirit. The teaching of Maitreya guards the knowledge of the cosmic fire as the unfoldment of the heart that embraces the manifestation of the universe. 
the ancient legend that affirms the manifestation of Maitreya as a resurrection of the spirit is correct. We will add that the resurrection of the spirit as the conscious acceptance of the teaching of the Lord Maitreya may be precursor of the advent, verily the resurrection. Maitreya wishes to hasten all. Maitreya wishes that all should be successfully accomplished. Maitreya wishes you joy. Maitreya wishes to grant to humanity a gift through the fiery experience of Agni Yoga. Maitreya wishes to transform life on earth in the radiance of the mother of the world. The beauty of life is limitless. An Arhat sees with the eyes of the heart. An Arhat sees with the eyes of the heart the beauty of reality. An Arhat sees with the eyes of the heart and the essence of the future calls us. Verily is that creativeness affirmed by us. Rulerus, I pronounce thee the great co-worker of cosmic reason. Rulerus, thou beyond all cosmic powers, carry within thyself the sacred seed which provides radiant life. Rulerus, affirming all manifestations of the great reason, thou art the bestower of joy of cosmic creativeness. The rulerless will adorn the aspiring realm with creative fire. Rulerus of thought, thou who invoke life, to thee we make manifest the radiance of our ray. Mother, venerated of the lords, we carry in our heart the fire of thy love. In thy heart lives the ordaining ray. In thy heart life is conceived, and we shall affirm the ray of the rulerus. Thus the cosmos lives in the greatness of the two origins. Thus the cosmos crowns the two origins. Thus the mother of the world and the lords build life. And in boundless striving the cosmic magnet welds its sacred parts. Thus we venerate the ruleress beyond all spheres. Vast is the field for the manifested approaching Tara, Buddhist savior goddess. We, the Arhats, ascending to the fire of space, prostrate ourselves before the entire fiery boysom of the Mother of the World. The boysom of the Mother of the World finds all reflections upon Earth. One of them, the most powerful and the most intense, is the advent of the coming Tara. The Mother of the World carries visibly and invisibly the manifestation of those ineffable threats the affirmation of the world's threats. Let us find the reflection of the cosmos in the great principle of construction and fusion. When the brothers of humanity feel sorrow over the image in which they are held by the human consciousness, they can only say, you are building your hypothesis upon apparent phantoms. We are only phantoms for humanity. When the spirit affirms our flaming existence, then, instead of phantoms, we shall become the fiery warriors. To the brothers of humanity, it is assigned the construction of the life of the planet, and they maintain the command of the great mother of the world. The music of the spheres resounds when the current of joy is in motion. The music of the spheres fills space when the heart is stirred to tremor by the cosmic force. The heart of our brotherhood safeguards for humanity the path to the general good. Humanity has never deliberated upon the life of the Arhat. It is customary to think of an Arhat as a dweller of the clouds. The records of the drift of thoughts are dreadful and grotesque. Verily, we, brothers of humanity, do not recognize ourselves as humanity conceives us. The images of us are so fantastic that we deem that if people applied their fantasies precisely conversely, our images would assume true form. The karmic tie apparently disappears when human thought pictures in our heart. Everything takes on a new dimension. Everything becomes improbable. Everything becomes uncorrelated to reality. 
Let us say, in proceeding to the higher worlds, that an arhat is limitless in all manifestations. In ascending, an arhat elevates along with themselves all the highest and most subtle energies. We can show our true images only to near ones. We can send our rays only to near ones. If it were possible to impart our image to humanity, the striving toward knowledge would be established. Of course, it would be necessary to impart the image over a span of millenniums. The Book of Life is beautiful in its complete affirmation. Assuredly, when it is possible to impart the complete picture of the cosmic magnet, then the manifestation of the beauty of existence is affirmed. If it were possible to impart the entire picture of the whole path of an arhat's course of lives, then our image would take on its true aspect. The book of our life resounds mightily and cements our step. Each lord has his keynote. The epoch of Maitreya proclaims women. The manifestation of Maitreya is linked with the confirmation of the mother of the world in the past, present, and future. The book of life is so beautiful. For more information and more of the Agni Yoga Society books, please visit agniyoga.org. Wonderful viewers, it's been a pleasure to have you with us today on Words of Wisdom. Coming up next is Songs of Oneness, Part 2 of 2, right after Noteworthy News. In Heaven's grace, may your days be filled with divine wonderment and peace. Vegan, because we got to help ourselves to survive. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique WOW. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada www. La idea de nosotros es que hay muchas lenguas. Visite suprememastertv.com barra www.